Thank you very much. Welcome, uh, Gail and uh, Tine. We'll now have the opening prayer uh, by Paul Fortune. Thank you. Shall we bow our heads as we pray? Our eternal and gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful, dear Lord, this evening to be able to call you our Father. Because, dear Lord, as we stand here with joy in our hearts, with thanksgiving in our hearts, to just thank you for giving this beautiful couple 30 years of marriage. And Lord, as we're going to celebrate and as we're going to say things here tonight, your word reminds us that where two or three are gathered, you will be in the midst. And so we are more than two or three this evening. And we ask for your presence to be felt amongst us as we go through this ceremony this evening. Thank you for everything. Thank you for allowing us to see the ending of 2022. And may you continue to be with us even as we break through into the year 2023. This is our humble prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The title of my very short message is what is love? Uh, something crossed my mind, you know, Revelation 12, verse 7, where the Bible says, there was war in heaven. Because you see, sometimes, where there's love, <laughs> there's also sometimes war. Who ever thought there'd be war in heaven? Until we read about it, that there was war even in heaven. What makes you think our homes are safe from war, if war could actually end up being right in heaven. Then the Bible goes on to say a little bit further in Revelation, it says, you inhabitants of the earth, you must go and read it when you get home. Just Google now, even if you don't own the Bible. You read it, he says, even you inhabitants of the earth, be careful, because that old serpent and dragon has been cast out of heaven, and he's been cast out onto this earth. And let me tell you something. Anything that God loves, the devil hates. Are we together? If there is anything that God wants for your well-being, the devil is going to put his utmost effort to try and break that thing down. That's why families today are in trouble. For you to come to a 30th wedding anniversary, you must say, I'm blessed. To be able to be here amen. amen you are allowed to applaud the couple again 30 years that they've been together i i i, I want to remember a very humorous story and i know gail is going to be very fed up with me but i don't care because, <laughs> tell that story because she, she said i must come and talk so i'm going to talk here tonight so one day to make it a message now in siswati in swaziland the lady that wrote him the message was being very respectful. And she says, hello, and she spells the word B-A-B-E. -E. Now, you know when you're from Zimbabwe, but you're a little bit American, and you read this, this word here, hello, babe, <laughs> the third world war is starting already. How, Tene, can this woman call you babe? <laughs> Lucky my friend Tene is a little bit sharp over here. Because the letter was signed off. Now, B-A-B-E in Esiswati is Babe, which is a very respectful term of elder. Hello, elder. Hello, ba. Hello, father. Okay? Auntie Gail on the side over here is interpreting this thing as Bay. So, fortunately for Tene, the letter was signed <laughs> off, M-A-K-E. Now, do you know what that means? Nesiswati is Mage, which is a respectable term for an elderly woman. And this was actually a Mage that was writing an SMS to a Barbe. So today says, girl, come on, don't get fed up. The letter's from Mike. <laughs> 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 so, so for me, that was so humorous because let me tell you something. When I read this thing about war in heaven and how war can sometimes come into our homes, 
if you are married long enough, oh, by the way, uh, Lynette and I just celebrated our 36th wedding anniversary. And I had six years of uh, apprenticeship. To my faithful and beautiful bride, my wife, 30 years down the line, I renew my vows to you, this time with maturity and spiritual growth. I pledge to honor, respect, and love you unconditionally. Times will be tough, but I promise never to give up loving you. Times will be pleasant, and I promise to cherish and celebrate these with you. I will be your friend for life. I will be the priest of our home, so help me God. off the cup. One thing I've learned over the years is that um, love is actually a choice and not a feeling. And uh, because certainly if it were a feeling, there are times when the feeling hasn't been, um, been sustainable enough to carry me through. But the choice that I've made to say through thick and thin, through good times and bad times, um, when the feelings told me I should walk away, um, I knew that I had uh, made a covenant and a commitment and vows before God to not base this feelings. So today I want to reaffirm that and just give you my commitment that I continue, I choose to continue loving you. I choose to continue supporting your dreams and aspirations. I choose to continue being your companion and raising our kids. I choose to be there for you um, through thick and thin. Um, and I choose to love your family as my own. And I choose um, to be your partner as we work together for the furtherance of God's kingdom years of marriage. 